Polishing your presentations. Mastering the art of implementing feedback. Hello learners. Welcome back to another insightful lesson. Today, we're delving into a key aspect of improving your public speaking and presentation skills, incorporating feedback into your presentation. This lesson is all about taking constructive criticism and using it to sharpen your oratory prowess. Feedback is a gift. Whether it's positive or negative, it's designed to help you improve. When we're talking about presentations, feedback helps you understand how well you're conveying your message, how engaged your audience is, and what you can do to make your presentation more effective. Remember, the goal of feedback is to make your next presentation better than your last. All feedback is not created equal. It's crucial to know how to evaluate feedback to decide what to incorporate into your presentation. First, consider the source. Is the feedback from someone who is knowledgeable and experienced in the subject matter or presentation skills? Second, is the feedback actionable? It should provide you with specific ways to improve. Always prioritize feedback that is constructive and helps you become a better speaker. Now comes the most important part, actually implementing the feedback. There are several ways to go about this. 1. Content refinement. If the feedback was about your content, perhaps suggesting it was too complex or not detailed enough, adjust accordingly. Simplify complex ideas, or add more detail where necessary. 2. Presentation style. If the feedback was about your delivery, such as speaking too fast or not making enough eye contact, make an effort to work on these aspects during your next presentation. 3. Visual aids. Feedback about your slides or other visual aids should also be taken into account. Perhaps they were too cluttered or not engaging enough. Improve these based on the suggestions received. Remember, the key is to make changes incrementally and practice until the feedback is fully incorporated into your presentation style. Implementing feedback is a cycle. You make changes, present again, gather more feedback, and make more changes. This cycle of continuous improvement helps you grow as a presenter and keeps your presentations fresh and engaging. Always stay open to feedback and embrace it as a stepping stone towards becoming a more effective communicator. And that wraps up our lesson on incorporating feedback into your presentations. Remember, feedback is a tool to help you improve. Evaluate it carefully, incorporate it diligently, and keep striving for continuous improvement. We hope you found this lesson valuable and that you'll carry these insights into your next presentation. Happy presenting, and see you in the next lesson.